What's up everybody? This is Josh with Rockstar Vapes and today we're going to be talking about the Paragon clone by SXK. Let's go check it out. I ordered this mod from a company called Select Vape. Now Select Vape does business through Instagram and they have an eBay store. You can order it on Instagram. They have all sorts of really good deals going up all the time and I've been wanting to order from them for a long time and I saw this Paragon and I was like, yep, that needs to be mine. So I paid $34.99 through their eBay store. That included shipping. I ordered it on a Thursday and it arrived on a Saturday. So major props to Select Vape for sure. Uh, it came in a padded bubble mailer. One of these fellows with uh, you know more bubble wrap wrapped around it. And then it was in a fancy little pouch. Not this one, this is a Maraxxis pouch, but it was just like this. And it was in one of these too, so it was like quadruple protected. It was excellent. I like that it came in the little pouch and everything. Now it was just the mod, just the 18650 tube. I have seen where you can get the 18500 tube for this, but I use 18650 strictly anyways, so I can push the boundaries on my builds. Uh, know your battery safety people, please pay attention to Ohm's Law. We don't want you blowing your hand off. Um, or just even venting a battery at all. That's not fun. I'm really enjoying this mod. For the price, I am thoroughly happy. Uh, you'll see there's a couple little tiny things when we do the up close and personal. Um, let's just go ahead and do that right now. So here we are, up close and personal, with the Paragon clone. 22 millimeter device. It's got a carbon fiber look wrap. Can't quite say that this is real carbon fiber, but it sure looks like it. Uh, it's an all copper mod other than that carbon fiber wrap. The entire tube, as you will see momentarily, is copper on the inside. Let's go ahead and show you what it's about. Excuse this uh, little bit of juice up here on my top cap from the old leak boat. Now, do take in into consideration that I have been using this device for about a week now and I am not the most cautious person in the world so there are a few little scratches and dings uh, like like those right there I did that it did not come like this but while we're here let's go ahead and talk about the button now you will notice I don't know if it'll come through very well there it is See the button has just a little bit of lip on one side and like a little bit of like a concave on the other side like it doesn't really quite sit now this is very very small very small like I can't even mention it as a con because most of you wouldn't even notice it but like it, it doesn't sit like perfectly flush in there but hey yeah. You got no logo on the bottom, but you do have like, I guess, a fake serial number. I don't know. 3352 is mine. So that's pretty cool, huh? I like that it didn't come with a logo. Um, now this it's coming. It looks like it's brass on the camera right now, but it's definitely all copper. Um, you have the lock ring right here. Reverse threaded. Very smooth. I've, uh, I've played with it a bunch to make sure it doesn't get stuck. It hasn't gotten stuck on me not one time in the locked or unlocked position. Um, I don't ever use it because, as you can see, it is a recessed button. It has a good clean action. It's not a very long throw. Uh, about right there is going to make contact with your battery once you have it in there. You don't, you don't really get that full push out of it. And we'll show you that once we put it all back together. Copper contact. Uh, Delrin insulator. What the hell did I do with the screwdriver? 
So it's a screw in one. Now I haven't had this back out on me at all, and that's awesome. Because you would think with this design it would back out, but it hasn't. Uh, there's your contact. Nice and beefy. Good clean threads. And then you have heel spring. Uh, it's got good resistance to it. Uh, not the strongest spring I've ever felt, but definitely not the worst. And uh, I actually ordered magnets for this thing because another reviewer had said that Nemesis magnets will work. And they fit in there, but I got the ones that are too thick, and they pretty much just made the button stay right there, and you couldn't really fire it. Uh, so I'm going to get some different ones and try it again. But I haven't had any problem with the spring, actually. Now, this has gotten a little dirty over my week of use. It was, like, beautifully clean when I received it. All copper uh, button. All copper stuff down here. The lock ring just comes off like so. Do -do -do. And it just goes back together like so. Very nice threading. Uh, now when it's not locked, it is a little wobbly. Um, now that's the only place on the device that's like that though. And once it's, when it's cinched up, no worries. And mine stays cinched up almost all the time. And also when the button is in there and it's in the locked position, it doesn't wobble either. I'll show you that real quick. Because we gotta put this guy back together anyways. So, you know, just like it came apart, your spring goes right there. sits down in this little home hold it up just like any other button like this and you just screw this guy back on down like that there you have it I, I quite enjoy this button I really do I quite enjoy this whole mod I'm a big fan of this mod All right, and then the tube. Now, the only tube I've found is the 18651. Not sure if they make smaller or bigger ones, uh, but all I use is 18650 batteries. Anyways, you'll see it's full copper tube in there. It's just sleeved with carbon fiber. Now, these threads are very nice. They were really clean when I got first got them. Um, same threading on either side, so you don't really have to worry about which side you're screwing what onto. Nice smooth threads. If you'll notice, there's a little bit of like the the tolerance, I guess, on these weren't wasn't really that great. Now this is barely like perceivable unless you really look at it. Like this is just getting nitpicky as all this is. But you see, that there's a little tiny bit of gap. around there see that there it is a little bit of gap and uh, I believe that is the case with either side yeah there it is again but there's plenty of thread in there making contact so you don't have to worry about it not getting a good connection or anything like that all right on to the top cap and it is a flat top cap uh, that scratch that that ring around the top cap is from my atomizers when it came to me it was flawless just like the rest of the device but it's a flat flat top cap so all you can use are devices that get their own air like from the side like maybe a k-fun or drippers and let's be honest if you're using a mech, you're probably using either a K-Fun or a Dripper or some sort of Genesis. You're not really using a Pro Tank or anything like that anymore. And if you are, I'm not really sure why, but to each his own, whatever keeps you off the cigarettes. Uh, again, clean threads. Now, if you remember my uh, Arama review, which is a $220 authentic mod, and then now we're looking at a $35 clone, this doesn't wobble. There's no wobble in this. There's no play in this at all. It's just screw it in, screw it out. Now the pin floats.
You just can squish that back in. And then you will go ahead and connect your atomizer. In this case, we'll be connecting the authentic tugboat. And then you will see the magic happen of the floating pin. Mm. It just floats right on out there. All right. Then you adjust this for battery rattle. Now the only thing I don't like about this is, is I wish this right here were reverse threaded. Because if you put your bottom cap on and then put your battery in and then go to screw this on, it sits against the battery and then screws itself in. So, you know, it's not really going to work like that. So what you have to do is kind of set this, screw this on, put your battery in from the bottom, and then tighten up the bottom cap like so. So it can be a little bit of a hassle to uh, get this set just right. Like I said, what I like to do is get it as close to what I think it needs to be as possible. Screw this on down, put my battery in. And we got a big old gap. So what we have to do is back this off a little bit, take my top cap off, and tighten this up a few turns. Screw this back on. And we're still a little too too far from where we want to be. So I'm gonna tighten this up another couple turns. So you can see that this is kind of annoying, but I really like the mod so much that I think it's worth it. And when you get it set just right, no rattle whatsoever. And then I'll show you again, like this, when it's locked, there's no wiggle here. And you see I left a little bit of a gap. I'm gonna have to I'll just cinch that up a little more. And But when it's in the middle of its locking range, it is a little wobbly. Uh, let's show you the throw now that the atomizer is on and the battery's in. Right there. Now the button is a smidge wobbly, but I tell you what, it fires from anywhere. Anywhere. I'm as, I'm as close to the edge as I could possibly be, and it's firing. So I do like that about it. Um, it does work really well, but yes, there is just a tiny little bit of play in the button. It does kind of kind of wobble about a bit, but I mean, it's not really noticeable when you're using it, just if you go to play with it. So uh, let's go back up top, top and uh, as 420 would say, we'll talk on it and vape on it. See you there, guys. That was an up close and personal time with the Paragon clone from Select Vape. I will put links below to um, their eBay store and I'll put their Instagram handle. And I think you guys should really check them out. They have really good deals on stuff all the time. They do like full kits. You get like a mod, a VTC5, an IntelliCharger 2, uh, an Addy, and a Drip Tip for like 70, 80 bucks. And they're all really good clones. I mean, the charger's real and the battery's real, but all their mods and atomizers are really nice clones. They're really good people. Go check out Select Vape for sure. So the pros and cons of this mod. Pros. It looks really damn good. I quite like it. I will be getting, and this is the spirit sitting on top of it. I know you saw me do the tugboat uh, in the up close and personal, but we're using the spirit right now so I can show you, you know, that this thing does hit hard. Um, I th so I think it looks really good. It's very aesthetically pleasing to me. Uh, it's all copper construction, so it's, it's con just about as conductive as it can get. Um, I like the throw. I like that it's a recess button, so you can set it down without locking it. I think I've locked this thing maybe twice. Uh, so in the week that I've had it, I never really need to lock it. Um, you know, if I'm putting it in my pocket, I lock it. That's about it, really. 
all the threading is really good. The machining is pretty damn good. You saw, you know, there was a couple little things like the uh, lock ring is a little wobbly when it's not either all the way down or all the way up. The button's just a smidge wobbly. So I think it's just that the tolerances are, you know, it, it's clone. It was 35 bucks. It's still really nice. None of the, I would still buy it again. I would still recommend it to everyone. Uh, if you like the looks of it, I think you're going to really like the performance of it once you get it. So, you know, give it a shot. Um, I really like the carbon fiber. You know, it won't really get hot. It's kind of like insulation. Um, but you shouldn't really be getting to the point where your mod gets hot anyways, people. What else? I don't know. It's just awesome. It really is. I like this flat top cap. I hate the top caps with all the crap and you have to like clean because you know you're using the leak boat here and then juice gets down in those little crevices like on the magneto I hate that and you gotta clean all that shit out just give me a flat top cap because I'm only using RDAs anyways that might be a negative for some of you people I don't know if I showed you but there is vent venting battery ventilation hole that is a small one it's little it's right there it kind of blends in there it is right there above my finger I know it's little, but I've blown through it, and you want a battery in it, it it'll vent just fine. Um, cons. Kind of hard for me to come up with any. Uh, I mean, there, like I said, there's some little tiny things that could be a little better. Like the seam on the on the bottom here could be a little tighter. The button could be a little less wobbly, but it's really almost nothing you know that's it so it's awesome I want to see like how well it performs uh, the spirit atomizer uh, it's got a do not try this build at home unless you know what you're doing um, I do not recommend it it's 0.12 dual parallel uh, 26 gauge organic cotton and uh, pretty much just straight up VG juice. So you see this fucking Paragon is doing work. I like it. I like it a lot, people. Um, highly recommend it. Uh, sorry Allie is not here to be in this video. You've got to deal with just me. I apologize for that. I know you come for Allie. Hey! <laughs> uh, but hopefully you found this informative. I, I really can't fault this mod hardly at all. I like it a lot, especially for the price. $35.99. I think they did an excellent job with this. And I'm really happy with Select Vape as a vendor. Uh, I'm going to try and order some more stuff from them so I can make sure that they're on par, you know. And that's about it. Uh, thanks for watching, everybody. Appreciate you spending your time with me here in the Rockstar Vape Studio. Please like, share, and subscribe. Uh, we have a giveaway going on for some Cyclops Vapor Juice if you go back a few videos. Uh, we are getting really close to the 500 subscriber mark. There will be a nice giveaway for that. We are collecting stuff up as we speak. Uh, I've got a big juice review coming up soon for Vaping Sisters. This is the Mafia line. Uh, they're all inspired by uh, Mafia, like the Dawn, the Boss, Respect. There's some really cool artwork here. Meet the family. And this is made by Vaping Sisters here in Pensacola, Florida. They do have a website. I will link you to that below if you want to go ahead and check these out. Because I'm still putting all the flavors through their paces. They have 10 choices. Uh, I'm not sure if Tommy Gun, the clove one, is still being made or not. Because I did not receive it to review. I got the other nine though. Let me tell you, they are awesome. Just go ahead and order yourself a bottle of Jelly Bag of Donuts. Just go ahead and do it. So yeah, we got all that other social media stuff. Go check that out. Uh, my deserted island video I'd like to apologize evidently some people are having trouble viewing it on mobile and I don't know why because my syndication is across all platforms um, you should be able to view it anywhere I'm not really sure what's going on with that uh, maybe it's that you're clicking the Facebook link maybe if you open your YouTube app 
on your phone or tablet you can see it? I don't know. I'm really sorry about that because it's a really fucking funny video. So if you're having trouble viewing it on mobile, just get to a computer and watch it because it's really good. It's, it's pretty funny. I enjoyed making it. Allie enjoyed making it. We enjoy watching it. So yeah, again, sorry for all of you that are not able to see that. Um, if you ever have any trouble seeing any of my videos, let me know in the comments, an email, something. Let me know so I can try and figure that out because that's not very cool. Uh, what else do we got? Um, there's not much. Not much. Got me a new ohm meter. Just do that fucking thing on like loose clues. We just got some bait mail. We just got <laughs> some bait mail. <laughs> because I love to bait. Bait mail. Bait mail. Bitches. Did they really fucking ship it like that? Hold up. Let's get this on camera. Sorry to pause the Paragon review, but I just received a 510 ohm meter, and there's no fucking box. What is this shit? If this thing's broke, I'm gonna be pissed. Yeah, just bubble wrapped. Look at that. Yeah. Huh? Gremlin. Uh -oh. You know how easy that could have fucking broke while shipping? That's fucking janky, is what that is. Well, at least it's not broken. That's some janky shipping, though. Where the hell was I, people? I'm very sorry. Just sent my Omni tester to Mr. Doug over at NC Vaping. And now I can read to the hundredth place. And we will be doing some builds. I'm actually about to rebuild this tugboat. Oh, this is my new favorite build lately. That's not right. There we go. Point three four. So glad to have this. We can get back to doing some builds. Um, and I'm rambling at this point. Much love to everybody. I appreciate you watching. And remember, to vape like a rock star. Take it easy, guys.